at risk of making myself sound even more like a boomer, even though you've just outed me as never having used a dating <laughs> app, um, I was reading in the Sunday Times. <laughs> Physical yeah. copy. There's actually the there's actually uh, an increasing user base on fields who aren't just using it to shag, and they're actually using it because they think that because of the sort of open and honesty of people when they're expressing things like what they're into and what their kinks are, that you get a better degree of honesty when you're just conversing with people and therefore using it to actually go on dates, mm -hmm. not just I see that, not just a fuck. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. But then that falls into the category of people that I'm terrified of who describe themselves as sapiosexuals. Do you know about this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like they're attracted no. to someone's brain uh -huh. and it like, you know, how they think and how they act. And it's like, well, what, I'm sorry. what else yeah. are us? Like, yeah. are we all just so carnal that we're yeah, like... Yeah, no, just face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually a bit of a sapiosexual. I don't mind when women speak. <laughs> 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 you feel free to use that as a prompt, guys, as well. That'll be <laughs> That's really good. Really um, good. Okay. Should we move on? Yeah. <laughs> what do? Where are we gonna go from here? Uh I think we're gonna go to gender neutral toilets. Oh sick. I don't mind when women pee either. So that's <laughs> <laughs> Um, so one of one of the bits of news that came out also whilst I was on on stagging, uh, the government has said it wants to all new public buildings in England to have separate male and female toilets. Mm. Equalities Minister Kemi Badenoch said it was quote vital that women feel safe and quote that their needs are respected. The again quote rise in gender neutral toilets <laughs> meant female users had felt unfairly disadvantaged. And faced longer queues, the government added. That's it. They can't piss enough. Right, fine. The government <laughs> says separate unisex or universal toilets should be provided in new buildings if there's space, but should not be installed at the expense of female toilets. Okay, as a woman who pees. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Glad to have you with us, sister. <laughs> <laughs> ne where, where was the consultation on public toilets? That debate kind of came about during the... Um, the pandemic, you know, when you could go out and you could have a pint, like takeaway pint, mm -hmm. and then everyone realised there's no public toilets anymore, and it's fine for Ed because he can just pee anywhere. Mm. I do, but um, <laughs> as is his right as a man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I noticed during the pandemic, I was like, oh my god, you can't pee anywhere. So if there's this massive concern now suddenly about women peeing safely and not queuing, why aren't you opening the public toilets? Where, where's that conversation? One assumes that. Uh, destroying local council budgets has meant that public toilets have had to be closed, right? That's, yeah. That's happened. But if you're concerned about private businesses and women queuing in private businesses, mm. surely you should be concerned about that as well. No, sorry. I totally, I'm totally agreeing with your point, Mark. I'm, oh, right. I'm in full agreement with you. Um, I just meant like... Uh, Anti-women pissing brigade. No, oh, absolutely not. No, absolutely not. Like, what am I going with this? <laughs> Finish that sentence. Uh, I love it when bitches piss. <laughs> This is, I'm just totally unhinged this morning, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Um, no, to com go to completely tangent tangentially for a second. Um, I do want to carry on talking about this. Um, did you see that, that uh, engineer, that lad got like crushed by one of the toilets in uh, Soho? No. What? You know, there's like those, the yeah, you know, there's, there's ones that like come out the ground. No. Yeah, I was working on it. Yeah. I, I, I don't know those. Well. They yeah. come out the ground? It was a while ago. Yeah. Yeah, there's like really? pop-up ones, yeah. They literally come out the crib. Yeah, yeah, it's like a ur ur urinal. Yeah, that's cool. There's one by Charing Cross. Oh, I'm so anxious, and I'm, let me check this, please, before we just carry on talking about it. Oh my god, that's that that's that's insane. Did he go down with it? Yeah. Don't laugh. Right? <laughs> yeah, bang on. Yeah. He went down with it. He was working on it, and it just started descending and crushing. That's awful. But I don't understand. So when it goes underground, then it's not fully intact. You can't just be maybe like collapsible. Collapsible. Well, who thought of that? Whose bold idea was that? Yeah. Why isn't there some kind of check to see some? Sorry, as a violent claustrophobic, this is really quite unlocking <laughs> a new, uh, a new yeah. fear in what, me. What, once, um, this is a lighter tale than that. I think I was at the Primavera Festival last summer, and I went to the bathroom, and I was blind drunk, and I saw lots, lots of guys on these on these like in these urinals that were kind of like semi private. They were on a bit of like a pedestal. They're kind of like you went up like a small ramp to get to them. And so I went up there, it was just like a hole in the ground. 
start started weighing, mm. and I realized I was like, this is like, the, the the privacy kind of screens are really quite low, and they only came up to like here on me. Yeah, and then no, <laughs> someone <laughs> and I realized there's lots of women. Yeah, looking at me, booing. <laughs> <laughs> Like, fully, like, oh, boo. <laughs> and one shouted, that is fucked up. <laughs> because I'd inadvertently gone into a female urinal. <laughs> so, and I was also, it was at like, it was the very first one as you came into the toilet area. So it was so like... <laughs> <laughs> you're a woman needing to pee. Step aside, women. <laughs> Let me show you how it. it. It's done. <laughs> I was mortified, but I was like, I wasn't going to stop. <laughs> and then I was like, that's so weird. They weren't signposted. Mm. But I was just drunk and I'd walk past the sign because I checked the next day. Yeah, I've seen. Um, you went back to the scene of the crime to check. Well, I, it was, I needed to pee again. That's, that's, rookie, that's rookie. That's rule one. You never go back. <laughs> Um, yeah, like festival toilet blocks, right? You know, mm. everyone fucking is experiencing that horror mm -hmm. collectively. You know, you'll like you'll be stood stood pissing whilst someone else is shitting next to you. Like, who cares? Do you, do you think like a spad <laughs> in the Women of Qualities team saw me pissing? <laughs> we got to stop sad. this cunt. <laughs> <laughs> I th somehow thought we could legislate for festival toilets in Spain. Yeah, okay. I mean, how long is are we going to? Is it Women in Qualities, or would it be local government? It's women. It's can be bad enough. It's bad. No, it's equalities. Yeah. Oh, I mean, right. let's just not kid ourselves that this is anything but just completely like gammon faced culture war. Oh, it is not. It's the, so. The, this is, I, there's so little point in engaging with this. Like in in in. in yeah, here what's we the are. opposite of disingenuous? This is disingenuous. Oh, oh, I know this. Fuck. Mick Lynch said it to me. What mm. was it? I don't know. Oh. Ingenious. Something. Yeah, he yeah. came up and he whispered it in my ear. He goes, no one ever says it's this. <laughs> Whatever the word was. And I was like, ingenuous, they presumably. never do, Mick. Yeah, it's probably ingenuous. Be, yeah. yeah. Anyway, I mean... I don't the know. The idea that if there's not a woman, like the female toilet sign outside is some kind of fucking force field that protects women in toilets from predatory men. Because right, that's what it is. Women don't feel safe, right? They might be... Uh, a, a man who says he's a woman who's going to come into the toilet and I won't feel safe because he'll be in there with me. If, so, if a man wants to do that, mm -hmm. right, if there's that type of bloke out there, he is just going to fucking do that anyway. He is going to he could maybe dress up like a woman to go into the toilet or he'll just go into the fucking mm -hmm. toilet and, and be in there. Like whether or not it's a unisex sign or a female sign on the door does not stop that from happening. Mm -hmm. It is a, it's just fucking so dumb. Mm -hmm. So, so, so dumb. It's also, it's also as well, this may be a smaller, I don't know, maybe it's not, I don't know, but they, say you're a non-binary person, it's, you, you would, it would be quite gender dysphoric to go and... I wish you'd stop drinking that, it's really making me feel <laughs> ill. Um, I'm there. I thought that was in response to the point I was no, making. carry on, sorry. Like, it make you feel sick. It's, 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 it, if, say you're, you, you're someone who doesn't identify as a man or a woman, then it's, it's just quite shit to be like forced to choose one of them, that's not what you are. Yeah. It's, it's, like, it's nice that there's gender neutral toilets as an option for people. Well, I've never, I mean, a, a disabled toilet has never been gendered, so I don't no. really understand that. There's a study that uh, the government did a consultation and uh, they collected evidence between 2020 and 2021. And um, I actually got it written, written it down. Yeah. We can see. Respondents, there were 14,500 people responded to this, right? Of that, 83% said they were supportive of non gendered toilets. I guess that was like three years ago. So that was before the hysteria really ramped up over it. Mm. But it's not a real thing. It's not mm -hmm. a real issue. Well, GB News, the worst ones, always out and out, talking about uh, gender toilets and how we need to have separate. They've got non-gender toilets in their bloody studio. Yeah, yeah I know they do. Yeah. Also, and, and it's a fucking nightmare when I've been there as well because let me tell you, fellas, I don't know if this is just me or you guys as well, but the sound of feminine piss hitting the toilet bowl is like a red rag to a bull for me. <laughs> I'm um, just fucking absolutely deranged. You know, it's catnip. It's an aphrodisiac. There's an Ollie Dunmore shaped hole in one of the doors. <laughs> Please. Uh, <laughs> like the flash in The Incredibles. <laughs> what? Speedy Gonzalez. Or like. Someone did say to me that the worst bit about it, and they'd like to get rid of those gender neutral toilets at GB News because they came out the other way. Like their stools, they came out and Calvin Robinson was doing his hair. And they were like. Horrendous. <laughs> they need. He needs his own toilet. <laughs> the rest of us can use these ones. 